Hello and welcome. I'm Phil with Assorted Meeples, obviously, because you're on the Assorted Meeples YouTube channel. Anyways, tonight I'm doing something a little different. I just got this wonderfully big box. Yeah, um, just for reference, I'm 6'2", so... Yeah, this is a pretty big box. Not as big as some, but I am I waited two days to open this, and now I'm super excited about it. So, this, I do believe, is here to slay. I have a few Kickstarters out there, but I'm pretty sure this is here to slay. So let's get our sharp pointy and get to work. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Now get in there just a little bit and raise it up so I don't actually accidentally catch anything. Just getting the tip in there. There we go. Ooh, alrighty. We'll put this aside for now. Now I'm gonna move the box off the table so you guys can see everything coming out. Um. So first off, oh wow, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is nice, that is a lot of cushion, that is very nice, very nice indeed, um, if, did you know if you like pop these really quick, they sound like a shotgun inside, alright, let's just get rid of those. So, first off, we will start with the Here to Slay box. Um, this is the exclusive edition for the Kickstarter, um, which I went ahead and got. Alrighty. Don't hate me. I am very practiced at this. I just need, I can never get plastic started. So I just run along an edge. Usually I go in between the top box and the bottom box. But this guy, if I remember correctly now, has the really nice... Is it this side? It is this side. It's got the really nice um, magnetic flip cover. So it just pops open like that. And... Oh, that's right! There is the dice tower. Two pieces of the dice tower. Sweet action. So if you need to roll it and you want to use it, you, or they got that unlocked. The two dice, or the set of dice that it comes with, very nice. Looks like the ones are a unicorn horn. Um, actually, this is this is a very nice insert. I'm gonna move this up just a little closer so you guys can see. But this has actually really deep wells for the um, deck of cards and extra cards as well as when they're sleeved they're still going to fit in there and on top you have the um, for the tarot size cards that they come with that is actually pretty sweet very simple very well organized and laid out um, with plenty of room for expansion and then you kind of saw it flop out but the rule book is simply one page front and back turned into yeah just one, two pages this is rather fun game but not terribly challenging to learn which um if you haven't seen it me and heather did a uh two-player uh game of this and it was rather fun i'm going to set this right there Let's move on to the next thing in the box. Um, nothing crazy. We have card sleeves. Um, the package that I went with had, came with them. I'm not a big card sleever. sleever. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can't get them out to give them a feel. No. No. Come on. Ah, there you go. Well... Um, okay, double layers of protection here. That ain't bad. 
that's that's pretty nice. Um, it has the backside actually is white. Um, it's got a bit of color to it, but it, from what I can see, just looking in here, your card face will actually show through. So you kind of probably get the card backing on there as well. So I'm going to slide that in there, and there should be, if memory serves me correctly, there should be enough cards. Card backings. No, 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 no. Come on. This is actually kind of just loose in here for the most part. Like the cards, um, the all the extras look like they're pretty loose. So you get all of the um, tarot size sleeves and then three decks of these guys for the main deck that everybody's drawing off of. Um, and this is the uh, dragon expansion, sorcerer expansion. Um, this is terrible. This is a fully sealed. No, yeah. okay. Trying to be safe here, people. Don't cry too badly. that was fully sealed it didn't have like the cigarette wrapper or anything like that so let's just pop these guys out gently now i have never owned a or played a unstable unicorns game of any type um, so i do not know what their normal card quality is like but this is the uh, the Fearless Flame, it's a, the party leader for the dragons, and it seems pretty nice. Um, it's got the nice back, and the color on it is actually very nice. I like it. This is quite nice. And then there is a monster in here as well, the Calamity Mongrel. Again, these are carrot size for the monster and the hero and just so you can kind of see what you're dealing with like it's got got some good resistance there on the bending and yeah I know I probably will get ripped for doing that but hey I want you guys to see everything um and then this is just the uh seven or eight wait how many are there there's two four six eight uh, dragon heroes that can be added to your party the sorcerer heroes so each one of them has their own name and special ability um, just gonna flip through them really quick so you can see them I love the artwork in this game it really drew me in it was while it is slightly cute and adorable it is also really fantastically done artwork um, very very impressed with it um, again the card quality is pretty good um, I have nothing to stench on there this is extra monsters it looks like oh and this one they give you no way to really maybe I don't know how people get these things open really it's kind of annoying they shrink wrap it and then expect you to get them out nicely don't cause too much hate i've gotten pretty practiced at getting cards out without damaging them because yeah it does take a minute um and again i the the artwork on this game drew me in and then the the concept of it because my wife does not like Munchkin, and this looked like it definitely fit the bill. Um, yep, these are all extra monsters that came uh, with the deck. So here's I'll flip through some of these so you can see the artwork. Get it in here nice and neat. And yeah, I can't see any of this, so I would tell you monster names, but... Oh, that's the Wicked Sea Serpent. I think that cost me the game. Ancient Mega Shark. 
I mean, these are all really great. Each card has its own unique um, artwork done on it. I will put these with those, and we'll set them behind in front of the box because they're kind of pretty. And then the these are the bit of a splurge that I did for myself. This is the player mats. Um, completely frivolous, but they have artwork of the party leader that you're going to be in the background. This is the unstable unicorn, and it has a place for your uh, heroes across the top, um, six of them, two, four, six of them, as well, well, you can have as many in your party as you want, and then place for three monsters in your party leader card on the bottom there. Very well designed and nice, very nice to look at. Set that right there on top. Um, I don't have my top down camera, otherwise I'd turn it on there, but um, this looks like these are just all the extra ones. Yep. This is just all the extra, uh, I'm not going to unbag them all because that would take me just a little bit of time, um, but I will get there very shortly. I just wanted to show you that these are actually really nice, got a good, good weight to them. Um, I do like their boards because they, everything slides around so nicely that way. Okay. And... This, if I can find the way in, should be, and it is Yes it is. This is the come on now. There we go. Um the player mat box. So they're not just flying around loose because you got a bunch of Lip noodle. Um, so these are all the standard heroes um, for all the classes. I really hope you can see it without with the plastic on, without having to take the plastics off. Everyone came individually wrapped. Okay, that's that was a choice. That'll take time to unwrap, but that's okay. Um, so. Those all fit, and now the thing that they did say is that these should all fit, plus these guys should all fit, and I believe that would be correct, yeah, with just a little bit of room left over, because I think they're going to do an expansion here sometime soon for this already. Or they have something in the works and they're probably going to wait for some more feedback on the game. Um, I'm going to tear this one out and show you because this is the central play mat of the, uh, for the um, hero deck and discard deck and the uh, monster deck and then the three face up monsters that you can get. Um, these are really great. Um, these are going to be really hard to beat up. Looking forward to that and honestly I think this is an amazing box cover. Um, I really kind of wish that was on the main one but give it just a little more time and I will probably get a make a bottom box to go with on this and I will have everything in this one box and this will just get put away um i do have one question though that's the unboxing this game i've played it a few times with my wife because right now we're on covid lockdown and i can't go around my normal gaming group um for reasons that i'm essential and it would just make their lives not easy easy and I'm okay with taking that sacrifice. So this game will probably be very high on the Sorted Meeples list 
at least my short list to play once we can get back together. Um, that was everything that was in the box. Uh, if you liked what you saw, like, subscribe, follow us. Um, it's This is kind of the start of my Kickstarter season because of the COVID mess, all the games I was supposed to get from like March through September, October are all going to come in a just a really quick rush. And I will be unboxing like this and uh, going from there. So, alrighty. You guys have a wonderful night. And um, don't forget to follow us either here or Facebook or uh, Patreon as well. Because there, if you get a dollar, you can get into our Discord and see what goofy antics we're up to there. Um, and our website of assortedmeeples.com. All right. Take care, you guys. Bye. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.